Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to work with your WHERE clause. If I say select start from employee table, I have inserted few records. Say I have 10 records available with me. Now I want to have the data of a particular employee. I can simply say WHERE employee ID is equals to 1. It is going to show me the data of employee whose ID is 1. I can also write a WHERE clause on employee name, ename, is equals to Peter. So I can use WHERE clause for filtering. So I can write a WHERE clause on any column. The best thing is that I can write where clause even on the date time column. I want it to display all the records whose date of birth is less than one dash one dash. 1995 so I got all the records whose date of birth is less than 1995 now I can also write where clause depending upon two attributes or two columns I'll say where e gender is equals to male and I can write and EID is or better I'll use E salary is greater than 6000. Now I have two conditions here. One the gender should be male and the salary should be greater than 6000. So I have these many employees whose salary is greater than 6000 and gender is male. If I say salary greater than 8000 and if I filter this, I'll get only three records. If I can write where clauses in this way. Now, I'll say select where. Say I want to select two records. Say where EID equals to 1 and record whose ID is 5. So I'll use OR clause here or EID is equals to 5. So it is going to give me two records, one and five. If I want to select three records, again I can use or EID is equals to seven. Now, in the same way, if I have a number of records that I want to select with separate separate IDs, so instead of writing multiple ORs, I can simply use a clause that is where EID in and I can write 1 comma 5 comma 7 if I get 1 5 and 7 now if I want to select a record say this is the record that I have selected whose ID is 1 now I want to select a record whose ID is not equals to 1 so this is the symbol used for not equals to and it will give me all the records other than 1 in the same way if I want to select all the records other than 1 5 and 7 I can use where id is equals to is not equals to 1 just reverse it and eid is not equals to 5 and eid is not equals to 7 simply i am reversing this condition instead of equal to i'll write not equals to instead of or i'll write and execute this i get all the records except 1 5 and 7 now i can implement the same thing using in clause now instead of writing in I'll simply say where EID not in I'll get the same record what if I want the records in a range say I want the records whose ID is greater than 3 and less than 9 so I can write the same clause where clause where employee ID is greater than 3 and 
employee ID is less than 9. I should get 4 from 4 till 8. I can also use greater than or equals to and less than or equals to which includes the boundary values. I should use less than or equals to. 3 till 9. The same thing I can achieve with the help of between clause. I can say where employee ID between 3 and 9. It includes 3 and 9. Now the reverse of this that is if I want to get the information of all the employees which is not in this range greater than or equals to 3 so I'll simply reverse this I'll say less than 3 instead of and I'll write or instead of less than or equals to 9 I'll write greater than 9 that means excluding this range excluding 3 and 9 3 to 9 so I should get 1 2 and 10 so I can use these expressions or I can implement the same thing with the help of between clause I'll say where EID not between should give me the same result now I want to search with name and I'll say where ename equals to Peter now what I want is say here I have all the records now I wanted to display all the names which starts with M so instead of equals to I can use where employee name like M percent starts with M Maria Maria Mike Martin if I want to display all the records which ends with a I can simply write percent a so there is only one record which ends with a if I write e there is only one record which ends with e now instead of percent e if I write percent a percent it is going to give me the records which contains a Jack Anthony Mariam Maria Martin Javid so these are the records which contains a whether it could be the very first position very last position in between wherever it may be now one more interesting feature that I have is search as per the pronunciation so I want to search as per the pronunciation so I can use sound x function I'll say sound x I want it to display all the records which sounds like mik it sounds like mic so I'll say sound x of enim So M-I-K sounds like Mike. Peter, P-T-R. P-T-R also sounds like Peter. So this should give me Peter record. So SoundX is the new feature that is provided by your SQL server since 2005. Which allows us to search depending upon the pronunciations. So this is all about your WHERE clause. Now one last thing that I would like to show you in your WHERE clause is that how to check for NULL values. So I'll go to the employee table first and I'll put few NULL values. Now what I want is I want to write a query where the department ID
is equals to null. So I won't get any record because to compare the null value we cannot we can never use equals to why because two null values are not at all equal I'll use is null so I get the two records in the same way if I want to compare which does not contain null I use is not null I get all the records whose department ID is not null so this is all about your where clause so we have seen various forms of where clauses between not between in not in null is null is not null and and operator or operator so this is all about your where clause thank you very much